Right now, so as we celebrate Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, we're spotlighting some of the local people who are making a big difference in our region. And today, we are talking with a local community driven chef about the delicious cultural food she's serving up and also what inspired her to get into the restaurant business. So, we want to bring in Melissa Miranda, owner of Seattle's Musang Restaurant. Hi, Melissa. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, wow. So we are like right in the kitchen this morning with you. Tell us what you're making. Uh, we're making halaan sadata, which is clams with um, coconut milk, a little bit of Thai chilies and ginger. Oh, my gosh. That sounds really good. I'm really hungry right now. So uh, while we talk about that and while, you know, if, 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 whenever you want to get started, that's all good. Yeah. But just talk gonna... a little bit, if you can, about yeah. how you got the restaurant started and you know, how, how this whole thing came to be. Of course. Um, New Song started as a pop-up uh, five years ago. Um, and we actually used to do brunches at Bar del Corso in Beacon Hill. Um, and then from there, we just really started focusing on the community and educating people on some of the cuisine. Um, so every month, our pop-up would change menus um, and then in 2019 we found a space here in Beacon Hill um, and we were able to do a Kickstarter campaign raising over $90,000 uh, and then we found this beautiful old craftsman home in Beacon Hill um, and here we are. That is so we opened in January 2022, so just a little bit before the pandemic. <laughs> and, I mean, that, that's a crazy time to open a restaurant, and you've made it. I mean, you were named Seattle Mets Restaurant of the Year for 2020, right? Yes, we were. That's incredible. So um, I, that's got to feel good, especially, I mean, it's been a really hard year for restaurants, I mean, all over the region, all over the country. Yeah, I mean... I think the biggest thing that happened for us during the pandemic was how we pivoted. And, you know, we, we've always said that we take taking care of the community and the community takes care of us. And so um, when we closed in March, when we were mandated to close, we actually converted New Song into a community kitchen. Uh -huh. um, and so we were feeding almost 200 people a day, wow. um, seven days a week. We were partnering up with other chefs and restaurateurs in the city. Um, to provide um, like food for food and food for families and people that have been relying on the school to get meals. So, That's yeah, incredible. I think that also helps. Um, it's always been with intention how we've opened and led this space uh, and how we've shared our stories and given a platform to like our team, making sure we're empowering everyone. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. It's a very different place. No, that's amazing. That's such an awesome story. And like you mentioned, everything you, that you've done, I mean, you guys are giving back to the community every single day. I mean, that is so important. You're not just in the community, but you're part of the community. Absolutely. So um, I want to know, I, I know what you're making right now. You, you just mentioned it a little bit in the break, but yes. what is your favorite? When someone comes in, what is like the number one thing they have to get? Um, our short rib, kare kare. Oh. Um, Traditionally, it's made with oxtail, but we're making it with short ribs. And it has a peanut and baga om sauce. Uh, baga om is a fermented shrimp paste. And then it has a bunch of like roasted veggies and grilled veggies. It's very savory. That with a side of garlic rice or rice is like the best. <laughs> So I know, unfortunately, we, we made you rush to, like, get this dish done, and you're amazing. So you've been, like, talking and cooking at the same I don't know how you're doing it. Um, but do you have a little bit of a finished product you can show us? Yeah, I can show you. I think you can see that, that pan right here. Oh, wow. Um, the manila clams are starting to open up. So there's ginger in here, fish stock. Uh, we deglazed the pan with San Miguel. I'm just going to gonna add some coconut milk. And then a little bit of lime and chilies, and then that's the dish. That looks so, so good. Everyone here yeah. is, is just has their eyes <laughs> peeled to this screen. We cannot <laughs> wait until we can have, you know, restaurant folks back in the studio. I just like the smell and the taste, and it looks amazing. Thank you so much. Melissa, thank you so much for joining us, and um, we appreciate it. It sounds like you guys are open for both lunch and dinner, right? Yep, that's right. And then our community kitchen operates Mondays and Tuesdays from 12 to 4. And you can just give us a call to pick up a free meal. Well, thank you so much. That's so awesome what you guys are doing for the community. We appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you.